Uh, this week is National School Breakfast Week. It celebrates the importance of nutritious meals for students. Rep Rabbit is one of the largest black-owned school food programs along the Mid-Atlantic. It's now ready to bring culturally relevant lunches to school cafeterias in D.C.'s wards 7 and 8. Red Rabbit's food justice model will soon serve up what it calls culturally relevant healthy meals to kids in some school cafeterias in wards 7 and 8. It's a continuation of what the founder and CEO, Reese Powell, started in the South Bronx, Newark, New Jersey, and Southwest Philly. This was a culture story, this was a community story, and that I was just, and our business, Red Rabbit, was just a continuation of the social justice struggle, of the civil rights struggle to uplift communities of color. And so we realized that our, our role in that got a little bigger than just serving healthy food. We needed to serve uplifting food. Reese says when Red Rabbit enters a new city, they first work to become part of the community, which is a key ingredient to its success. We, we started to design the cafeterias to feel like neighborhood restaurants. So again, looking around the neighborhood, what is the culture of this neighborhood? Who are artists that are local to this neighborhood? Who are chefs that have written cookbooks that come from this neighborhood? Let's put those in the space so it looks and feels like a part of the community. And then when you combine that with the food and the menus that are that are you know consistent with the culture and reflective of the kids, you end up with an environment that's just joyful and celebratory. So we kind of see ourselves not just as a school food company, but more and more like a social justice company, a company of uplift and celebration for black and Latino communities. So next month, we're going to know which D.C. schools Red Rabbit will select and the chefs will take over the kitchens and the meals this fall, adding to the 150 schools and 40,000 students they serve.